Hi ladies, it's Karen and I come to you with a couple of Christmas ornaments that I've made and uh, this is an idea that I saw on Carrie's channel. She is Duffer9904 and she had seen the idea someplace else but at any rate um, I thought it I thought her ornaments came out so so cute um, and I thought it was a really sweet simple idea and what they are is, are snow globe ornaments so let me share with you first what um, you need to make these um, first you need these these dollar store wine glasses and they're they're plastic and I got these at the Dollar Tree and it's six for a dollar they come like this so you need six of these or you don't need six but you know a pack of these and so I use those and they they come after you take the paper off it comes like this you could take that and then you take hold on let me separate this it's kind of tricky I'm filming outside today Joe's in the house watching a movie and the TV is really loud for some reason <laughs> I'm trying to separate there we go okay so this is the champagne glass or whatever right well the bottom comes off and you turn it over and um, you know that's the idea so you you build your little the inside of the snow globe on onto this base here and um, the way that Carrie did it um, she she filled you know this and this is the way I did it for the tree one you fill the inside here with hot glue to the very top then you can add here whatever whatever is going to be inside your snow globe she used other miniature um, little ornaments and then you just sit them on top on top there and you decorate the base or you add your little twinkle snow or whatever and then you use um, Fabri-Tac you put your Fabri-Tac down along the outside edge here and then you turn it over and there's a little piece here that you can hold hold it to so you don't get all into all that Fabri-Tac and glue and stuff and then you put it you add your snow inside there if you want to use snow you add your snow in and then you put your decorated base in there and then you know it becomes your ornament um, she also used these cute little snowflakes that you could also get at the dollar store dollar tree or six in a pack for a dollar and um, I used them for the base and that's what Carrie did as well you know adhered them to the base and it just looks really super cute so I thought this was the sweetest idea so um, I did mine um, a little differently than what Carrie did so I'm going to show you this first one um, yeah I'll show you this one first so this is this is my first one and um, this tree this tiny little Christmas tree in there I received a pack of those from Joanne when we had our um, when we had our swap this seashell and this seashell were in a little seashell doodad bag that Lydia had sent me um, not too long ago. Um, the cherry blossom I sprayed with scintillating silver. Um, these, this little doodad here is also from Lydia. There's a couple of other little, little doodads in there that I put in there just to look like presents. You know, a little silver piece, um, some flatback pearls. Um, it's a red cherry blossom. There's another cherry blossom there that um, I sprayed with scintillating silver as well. And that piece in there, that like pearl inside a silver crown, if you could see it, is um, was in a doodad bag that I believe Stephanie had sent me. So it was super cute. So what I did for my base, um, I created this differently than, you know, than a little differently than what... Carrie did for the outside for my base this thing here um, I took some of this um, it's like a tool um, trim by Hobby Lobby it's like gathered tool 
So I just snipped a piece off and I, um, whoops, whoops, whoops. This isn't easy for me to do this here. Hold on. So I just gathered, you know, that tool all around the base there. You know, much neater and everything else, but you see what I'm saying. So that gave it a nice kind of tool look, um, snowy look to the floor, to the base of this, because I wasn't sure if I wanted to add snow or not. So that's how I got that, that tool in there. That's from that trim. And then for the top, um, you know, because you're, you're left with this piece here, whoops, um, I took this trim that I recently purchased at Hobby Lobby and I just, you know, wrapped it. I put glue on the trim. I cut just like a couple inches off or whatever it was. And I just put glue directly on the center of that trim and I just um, then wrapped it around, around that top there. Um, and then I took, you know, some metallic striped um, like twine that I had and I I didn't want this one to be a, a hanging one I thought it came out really super cute so I thought this would be a good one to just put on a shelf or whatever but um, but I thought it came out really cute and I, I added to add this base piece here I just put a few dots of hot glue around here and then I just placed it onto the snowflake and it just adhered real easy but, um, so that's the first one. I really thought it was a good idea. And then this one, it came out really sweet until I put the snow inside. <laughs> I shouldn't have put snow in this one. But for the base here, um, instead of, you know, the tool, like in this one, I used this trim. That is also from Hobby Lobby. And... I did it, whoops, I just gathered it around like that, around that base, you know, so um, that's what I did for the, for the base of this one, you can't see it unfortunately because of the snow, I shouldn't have added snow, and then I had some gold cording, you know, from um, Michael's, um, so I just adhered that right underneath it so it just kind of shimmered through the um, tool part of this trim. It looked real cute. <laughs> and then um, I took this red rose, oh and then, sorry, and then um, on top of this base I took um, one of the small doilies from the paper bag lady and adhered that on top here. And then this bird this is a little black bird in there, and I tried to paint her so that she wasn't black black. She originally looked like this. I got these around Halloween, and I got these at Michael's. But um, So I took one of them, and I painted her, or sprayed her with my um, Mr. Huey's, I think it is, the white, white. but I guess you could go over it with gesso just as easily, so, um, so that she wasn't so, you know, black. But, um, so that's what I did there. And then um, I sat, then I sat the bird on top of the little doily. You could see a piece of the little doily right there sticking out. And, um, and then I just adhered this pretty uh, rose from I'm Roses that I had sprayed um, with my scintillating silver. Um, here's another, this was a white rose, but I sprayed it with a, with a gold glit spritz from I Am Roses, or Lindy Stamp Gang. And then I added some gold stickles, if you could see that. It looks so much better without the um, snow, because you could see all the details. And then I, I put some little halfback pearls in there, and this is one of the red beads that I just recently got. I laid that there, and this is a snowflake, snowflake button, and I laid that there. But still, you could see the little face on the bird, and the little bird is cute. But I'm going to make another one similar to this one, and I'm not going to add snow. I just thought this was, you know, it turned out to be a really sweet, shabby, chic one. But, um, but anyway, and then I did the same thing 
you know, to the top. And then to add this string, I just put a dab of hot glue and then laid the end of the string and then put a button on top. And then the same on the other side. So this one can hang someplace if you want it to. So, um, so these are really quick to make. I mean, I think I did the both of them in like, you know, half an hour or so. Um, it was, it was just really fun. But um, I'm not going to add in snow to the next one. So I don't think, I like them without the snow, I think. Anyway, um, so those are my Christmas ornaments. Super cute. I'm going to put the link to Carrie's original video where she shows the ones that she did. They're really sweet as well. Thank you so much, Carrie, for sharing the idea. Um, because now, you know, I have a, a bunch of these and I'm just going to uh, play with. I just thought they'd make little sweet little gifts, you know. So that's my share. Thank you so much for watching, ladies. I really appreciate it. And I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.